Hello everyone, Giant Beer JJ here. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to do an unboxing on the AMD 6750 XT. Uh, these are the new cards that was just launched last week. And uh, this card, these cards were kind of like the refreshes of the uh, uh, 6600 XT, 6700 XT, and 6900 XT. So adding a 50 to it means that, you know, you're expecting not a lot of, uh, you know, performance differences. But uh, we do see that these cards have a little bit faster memory bandwidth, which makes performance of these cards a little bit faster. And uh, today we're looking at the not any third party model. This is the uh, uh, reference model from AMD. And uh, uh, these cards were extremely hard to get when there was like a, a GPU shortage, but right now they're much more easier to get. And uh, uh, the boxes of these ones, 6750s or like the 50 series, it's a little bit different uh, compared to the ones without the 50. Um, we have the uh, a relatively red um, and darkish, uh, you know, on the on the top of the uh, the box. And uh, let me uh, show you the box here. So this is how it looks like. And top is sort of AMD here, and uh, the, this is the back of it. And uh, 6750XT. So it's very minimalistic design and. Uh, it's supposed to look really good. So uh, the reason I'm getting one of these uh, is to kind of, um, you know, want to keep one of these for my own collection because uh, I don't know when this car will stop production because I think the newer generations were right around the door. So uh, it will be, uh, you know, it will be pretty nice if you like this generation and keep one of the reference card from directly from AMD. And uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. And uh, without further ado, let's get started the unboxing procedure. So, first of all, let's take the card open. Uh, there's the uh, seal right here. We'll have to uh, open it up. This is actually my first time unboxing a uh, uh, the MD version of the uh, reference card. Uh, previously, I was unboxing the, uh, the NVIDIA, uh, you know, reference card and they look a little bit, uh, I think the box is a little bit higher quality compared to the AMD one. And uh, this is how it looks like after you get the box open. We have the, uh, uh, the logo design right here and we see uh, the Radeon <coughs> logo here. Uh, this is directly, it looks like the card itself. Um, and uh, at the back of it, we can see that the uh, instruction manuals were kind of hidden right here. If you take it open, you'll see that this is some of the uh, uh, safety instructions and there's the uh, more information, there's a QR code here. And uh, let's put this back here. And uh, yeah, this is tell you what the features are, Infinity Cache, uh, RDNA 2 structure, DirectX Ultimate, and Windows 11. And uh, the card itself is right here in the box. Uh, you can see the design is actually pretty cool. There's no plastic, and plastic bag on it. Uh, and this one is like pure uh, black, blackish color. And, uh, yep. So it's a pretty small card, I would say, and it uh, looks pretty elegant. It's pretty high build quality. All these fans has the, uh, the Radeon logo on the, uh, on the center. And uh, we have an 8 pin plus 16, 6 pin design. And on the back, we're seeing the, uh, uh, it's a metal back plate. And uh, yeah, this is all darkish. I've heard that the, uh, the AMD reference card doesn't have pretty good thermals. I don't know if they have re uh, improved this, but uh, this one is kind of like the mid back black design, uh, which compared to the, uh, the previous generation, uh, the 6800 XT, there's also a mid back black version. And, uh, but for the 50s, they're all like midnight black. So it looks pretty cool. They fit really well into your, um, you know, into your build in your system if you're doing an all uh, darkish build. So, yep. Um, next, I'm going to put this card uh, into the system and test out some thermals. I'm not going to post any, uh, uh, you know, performance marks on this one because there's a ton of them on the internet right now. Just want to see how the thermals do. So because the main differences between this card and the other card, is that it has different coolers. So we want to see how this cooler does versus all the other cards. Uh, also, by the way, uh, for this one, we have um, one HDMI 
uh, portal and three DP portal. And, and it's quite interesting that the uh, uh, HDMI is like kind of in between and all is surrounded by uh, the DP portal. So that's pretty funny. So, okay, without further ado, I'll show you guys how this cooler does. So as you can see right now, the card is running and uh, there's no RGB on it, except for the uh, the Radeon logo, which is a uh, little bit, you know, shining right right now, but uh, there isn't any RGB on that uh, besides this. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty, uh, if you have all like, you know, dark build and styles build, this is definitely one of those uh, card for you. Okay, I'm not seeing some good thing right now because you see as soon as the formark uh, test started and the GPU directly rise to 77 degrees with the hot spot being 96 degrees Celsius. While the fan, I think is the fan curve is not so aggressive. You look at the fan curve right now, it's only like 50%. And the um, uh, hot spot is like really high right now, 96 degrees and the GPU temperature is 77 degrees Celsius. And um, um, I hope it will turn up the fan a little bit more. But right now, I think it is pretty quiet for the fan. I have this uh, DBA tester right here. Let's see. Yep, about 52 DBA. If you stand in my place where you normally sit uh, at your PC right now, It's 44 dBA, so it's pretty quiet actually. Uh, if you look at the fan right now, it's only like 16 uh, RPM right now. Uh, and the temperature, I don't think it's healthy enough. Let's try to tune the fan a little bit. Let's say we're locking it at 70% uh, uh, maybe. Yeah, let's do 70%. So seventy percent of the fan gives you around like uh, two thousand RPM, and um, let's see the voice noise right now. I would say it's still uh, acceptable, and uh, actually the fan. It's in a very uh, a smooth voice, and I think this is um, definitely not some some fan noises that you can uh, you know you can bear. So it's it's good so far, I think. It's just the GPU temperature is uh, it's not good. I'm not sure whether AMD is using the uh, the, the high quality thermal pad or is it just using some random stuff that is not uh, quali high quality enough to get his dispersion. But I do see the the heat is coming out from here uh, and there's no blue through design of the Nvidia card in the back of the GPU so it's basically all the way here uh, where you get all the heat dispersion and uh, the temperature right now after spinning is still like 75 94 which is not so good I'm still going to let it run for like uh, 30 minutes to see uh, how it looks like in the end Okay, I think uh, the temperature is relatively stable right now uh, with the GPU temperature around 77 and the uh, uh, the hot spot around 95 degrees Celsius, which I think is not optimal uh, given the room temperature, ambient temperature right now is 26 degrees, 25 degrees Celsius. So if you have, uh, you know, cooler room temperatures, this might lower uh, a little bit more, but uh, I don't think this is the optimal cooler uh, for even for a 6750 XT. So not to say the 6900 XT, uh, and I definitely, you know, suggest you probably switch to another uh, thermal pad or just try to water cool this car because I don't think it will last well uh, in the temperature like this. Okay, guys. Uh, so here's the uh, the entire video. I'm not going to do a uh, performance test on this car because there are a lot of performance uh, tests on this car already on the internet. And uh, also this is a reference car, so you are not going to see uh, a very surprising performances compared to the other AIB models, which has higher boost clock and better uh, thermal capacities. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's it for the, uh, for the video. And if you like this video, please turn on the like button and subscribe to my channel. 
and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.